In 2025, AI-powered humanoid robots are learning to fight back. Unitree's G1 is leading the charge, demonstrating kung fu abilities after a year of getting picked on by its creators. They picked on these robots for a year, and now they're teaching them kung fu. That's never a good idea. Teaching a robot martial arts has practical applications beyond entertainment. Practicing karate stances and kicks helps robots keep better balance and recover from external forces. Um, Quick footwork drills improve a robot's ability to react in emergency situations and on rough terrain. Learning martial arts helps refine a robot's ability to move more naturally. Learning martial arts is going to help them beat people up. That's what it's going to do. This is like a movie. We're watching a movie in real time. Kung making Fu. their interactions with martial real arts. people more intuitive. This little guy. In the future, AI robots could be used as sparring partners for martial artists. Yeah. Trained robots could be used Michael in Jordan. gyms or physical rehab centers to demonstrate proper techniques safely. Okay. For public safety and military applications, the military. maneuvers could prove useful to neutralize threats without excessive force. They're going to neutralize whoever. It's a robot. This is going to be crazy. Not a good idea. We all know this. Worse. Karate movements require quick directional changes, which is essential for navigating obstacles and moving yeah, people safely during guy. rescue operations. Robots that learn martial arts can also apply their training to other complex motor skills like surgical procedures and precision assembly. Training... I don't know about the surgery part, but cooking part makes sense. Stuff like that, you know, something that doesn't require, doesn't put people's lives in danger. Cook a meal, clean up something, neutralize an enemy. Uh, that's where the line needs to be drawn. Putting AI in control combat scenarios helps develop better prediction models for robots to thrive in dynamic environments. Yeah. Martial arts training can also reduce wear and tear in industrial applications by making movements more fluid. Unitree Robotics, established in 2016 in Hantu, introduced the G1 humanoid robot in May 2024. This robot was... Yeah. It's a downsized version of the company's full-size general-purpose humanoid robot, the H1. Crazy, uh, Standing 127 centimeters robot. or 4 foot 1, the G1 weighs about 35 kilograms and boasts between 23 and 43 degrees of freedom, depending on the configuration. Its base model pricing begins at $16,000. Oh, it's for sale? The G1 robot has grown in popularity among researchers, developers, and hobbyists after Unitree launched its mass production version last August. That'll be fun. The G1 robot gained right. new levels of attention recently thanks to Kai Sanat. The popular Twitch streamer oh, featured man. the robot prominently in his live stream. The way the yeah. streamer and his friends treated the robot caused some backlash, but Sanat said they were just testing its stability feature. He jokingly gifted his robot a car to make up for it. Oh my goodness. He's wearing a do-rag. Come get your key. He's just walking there. <laughs> the you mean? Yeah, I got you a car, bro. The G1 introduced itself to the world wielding a baton, demonstrating its precise control and dexterous manipulation capability. Scary stuff. Looking at the way the humanoid is treated by its creators, you can't blame the G1 for wanting to protect itself. Um, it's a robot, though, so the fact that it's being taught to... Self-defense. We all know how this is going to end. It's not even surprising anymore. Since its introduction, Brace for the impact. G1 has become more and more athletic. Unitree says updates to its training algorithm have enabled its robots to quickly learn dynamic human-like movements. Unitree's Wild. humanoid and quadrupedal robots learn with an NVIDIA's Isaac simulator. They begin their training in a virtual environment, meaning they don't That's need cool. to physically exist yet to start learning. See, why can't they just leave them dancing like that? 
Just leave them dancing. No, no fighting. Maybe some cooking. Maybe some cleaning. But no neutralizing enemy, self-defense, and the word martial arts just keeps appearing. No, no, no. A digital a twin idea. of a robot observes human movements through motion and video data and reinforcement learning. Yeah. The learned behaviors Reinforce. are then transferred to the physical robot with a process called sim to real short for simulation to reality. Yes. Fresh off a viral performance featuring 16 full-size H1 humanoids during China's Spring Gala event, Unitree started showcasing the smaller robot's ability to bust a move. Bust a move. After skeptics questioned whether the dancing was computer graphics, the robot moved on to martial arts. Specifically, yeah. Kung Fu. The humanoid robot has demonstrated the ability to perform moves like punches and roundhouse kicks while Imagine maintaining that balance. Like that. The robot slips at one point but quickly recovers. Now the robot is learning to better protect itself against the hands for attacks. real. In a short demo unitry just shared, the G1 pulls off a 720 degree spin kick. The robot demonstrates its advanced agility and adaptability as it's attacked with a stick. That's the company crazy. urged its followers on social media to not attempt at home. Yeah, I'm the robot performs the moves in front of glass doors and windows with reflections that would be very challenging to make with CGI. This is likely intentional to preemptively address skeptics. Unitree Smart. is positioning the G1 as a general purpose humanoid for a domestic and See, the thing is that these robots that they're presenting that these robots are way behind for the technology that they have. I do know that they have way better robots than this. This is just for human consumption. What they have is far beyond advanced. Way beyond this. This is just industrial task. The bottom of the barrel. Just see and how people G1 react. Humanoid when also just showcased its social capabilities in this footage from the state-run China Global Television Network. It didn't attempt any martial arts moves. Good idea. A G1 robot also showed restraint when a TV reporter pushed it while covering a recent event. That's crazy. She's gonna get it is a perceived leader in China's rapidly expanding humanoid robotics market. The yeah, robots are advancing at an accelerated pace as the Chinese government aims to scale mass production of humanoids in 2025 and rule the market by 2027. Though the Unitree 20, G1 is gaining 20, a reputation for its fighting ability, we just heard the words uh, large-scale robots and this is not China aims to provide yeah. Unfortunately, as cool as they seem and as cool as it sounds, we all know how this is just going to help create such big problems that we're not to fight these machines. We all know it, and if you don't know it, it's... I mean, this is real life, you know, they're, they're going to push it slowly and it's going to happen. So, as cool as it looks, as cool as it sounds, it's going to be the end of us. Martial arts for years. In 2014, researchers from the Florida Institute for Human and Machine Cognition attempted to train an Atlas humanoid robot from Boston Dynamics martial arts moves. They programmed the robot named Ian to mimic the iconic crane kick from the Karate Kid. Boston Dynamics has since introduced a slimmer and fully electric version of Atlas, though it's demonstrated industrial tasks and the ability to backflip it hasn't shown an interest in martial arts quite yet. In 2015, yeah, researchers at the Georgia Institute of Technology developed an algorithm for helping Don't. humanoid robots fall safely, incorporating techniques inspired by judo. Using the approach, robots could automatically determine the best sequence of contacts during a fall to dissipate momentum and reduce impact forces. In 2016, wow. Chinese industrial robot manufacturer Saison Robot and Automation showcased the dexterity and agility of its seven-axis collaborative robots through a Tai Chi demonstration. A Tai Chi master guided two of the cobots through a series of fluid movements, impressing observers with their capabilities mimicking human motions. Crazy stuff. More recently, 
Booster Robotics has shown its short humanoid robot intended for research applications performing kung fu moves. The Beijing-based robotics Whoa. startup has outfitted its flagship humanoid to take a beating in the ring. In recent videos shared no by way. Booster, the T1 withstands glass bottles to the head and sledgehammers to the chest. Despite the torrent, the robot keeps going. Throw water. The Booster T1, which stands 1.2 meters and weighs 30 kilos, has become known for its flexibility and dynamic movements. The robot became available for purchase by researchers and developers in late 2024. Yeah. These robots are truly going to be the end of us, and we all know it. Learning Kung Fu is crazy. And I do believe they're just trying to see how we're going to react to these things. These robots are out there, and they already know Kung Fu, MMA, boxing, do you name it. I mean, it's true, it's kind of scary, and think about all the technology in their head. It's, it makes, imagine the control that they could, you know, they could be controlled from a distance away. Go get this guy. Go get Koala. And he's gonna go and find me no matter what. Unless, uh, what, I spray water on him? It's pretty crazy. And those things are strong too. We just saw it. Kung Fu. Nah. As cool as it looks, as cool as it sounds, we all know that this is gonna be the end of us, unfortunately. Robots. All the movies are going to come to real life. Thanks for joining Koala. See you on the other side.